Forza is known as one of the best racing game franchises, with multiple Forza titles ranking as some of the most successful racing games of recent times. But as of late, the franchise has been on a decline. First of all, we need to go back to September of 2017 where it all started, as Forza Motorsport 7 was just about to release. With the release of the legendary Forza Horizon 3 the year prior, Forza Motorsport 7 would release two years after its predecessor, Motorsport 6. But as a whole, it was nothing revolutionary, and a bit of a copy and paste job from Motorsport 6. This game would go on to become the last Forza Motorsport game for six years. We'll come back to that later. Moving on to August of 2018, Forza Horizon 4 was just about to release. Horizon 4 followed in the footsteps of the hugely successful Forza Horizon 3, so when Horizon 4 came out, everyone was understandably hyped. And as the game released, it would become the best-selling Forza game of all time. However, this is pretty much where the Forza franchise peaked, at least in terms of popularity. In the months that followed the release of Forza Horizon 4, the hype would wear off, and it would become clear that it didn't live up to the expectations set by Horizon 3. The game was overall just filled with a few too many glitches and lacked new features. The release of the expansion of Fortune Island didn't change much, as it felt like it was just part of the normal map, and then LEGO Speed Champions just divided the entire Forza community, with many players just not being interested. The introduction of the Battle Royale style game mode, in the form of the Eliminator, did bring life back into the game however, and with the ongoing updates that improved the game, there was hope by the time 2021 came around that Forza Horizon 5 would be the revolutionary Horizon game we all wanted. So E3 in 2021 comes around. Everyone one watches the live stream anticipating the announcement of Forza Horizon 5 and instantly everyone was disappointed. The game was to be set in Mexico and not Japan like we all had hoped for. Most Forza fans tried to stay positive and relished the prospect that Mexico could give a similar vibe to Australia which we saw in Horizon 3. As the months go by, in the build up to the release of Horizon 5, the hype builds as Forza Horizon 5 would mark the release of the first Forza a game in three years. November would soon come around, and with the help of Xbox Game Pass, which gave a brief influx of casual players, it broke several records in its first month. However, the game would ultimately be released as nothing short of an unfinished mess. The game had more bugs than a dark forest, and in the updates we've had since the release, some bugs have been fixed while others have occurred. The map itself was hugely hyped up in the build-up to the release, however, it would end up feeling quite quite empty and boring. Event Labs is one of the main features that keeps players on the game, but even that is nothing new, and was first introduced as an unfinished feature back on Horizon 4 in the form of Super 7. The expansion maps on Horizon 5 also failed to capture anyone's interest for long, as the Hot Wheels expansion is just a recycled idea from Horizon 3, and Rally Adventure just feels like part of the main map in the same way Fortune Island did. The only thing that's meant to bring players back regularly is the festival playlist, where we mostly just get recycled cars from previous Forza games that no one's excited for. As a result of all this, Horizon 5's player base has been overall on a decline for quite a while now. With Forza Horizon 5 dying, attention turned to Forza Motorsport. After six years without a new motorsport game, in 2023, after years of anticipation, the all-new Forza Motorsport would finally launch. And did you know, it was actually even built from the ground up. Built from the ground up. Built from the ground up. Or built from the ground up. Rebuilt from the ground up. Built from the ground up for this generation. If only. In many ways, the game is similar to Forza Motorsport 7. It didn't really offer anything revolutionary or new, apart from the new car level system, which is just irritating for everyone. And while the game overall is a step forward, it's a very little step considering it's been six years in the making, and all the stunning graphics and everything showcased pre-launch is nowhere to be seen in the released game. Understandably, Forza Motorsport's numbers have quickly declined. Aside from the lacklustre 
development within Playground Games and Turn 10 over the past few years. There are other issues that have popped up within the Forza community too, one of the main ones being the bans. This gets discussed every few months as some players get banned for no reason, while others who blatantly hack and cheat and deserve to be banned get away with it. Mysteriously, the pattern tends to be that Forza simply can't be bothered to ban players who cheat in ways that mean they are still spending time playing the game, even when they are ruining the experience for others. Yet Forza are always quick to slam the ban hammer when players use methods of hacking that essentially lead to less retention, for example modding accounts to unlock cars for free that would otherwise take hours to unlock. I wonder why it seems like they care more about player retention than player experience. Could it maybe be something to do with the fact that Microsoft will pay them more money for having a higher total player retention? This is also almost certainly the reason why the festival playlist is set up in a way that maximises the time it takes to unlock the new cars, rather than it being a fun and engaging experience. And also is probably the reason for the time-consuming car level system in Forza Motorsport. Another cause for frustration is the lack of competitive racing within Forza Horizon 5. The game still lacks a proper ranked online multiplayer mode. Forza tried to set the scene that Horizon is for casuals and Motorsport is for the serious players, forgetting the fact that Horizon is just a more appealing game to play, and all the really competitive players are playing something way more hardcore than Forza Motorsport. So overall, with the lack of improvements made by Forza in the past few years, and the corruption and controversy that goes on, it's not surprising that the numbers have generally been on a downward trend, and players are just getting less excited and engaged with the games. As Forza Motorsport so clearly failed to hit the mark, it's probably the beginning of the end for the Forza Motorsport series. The Horizon series, however, still has a lot of potential, and for too many years has endured a lack of competition which has allowed Forza to get complacent, and not have to improve the games as much as they should. But with some competition arising in the form of other open world racing games such as Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown, it will be crucial to the future of the Forza franchise that Forza Horizon 6 exceeds expectations. But that's all for this video, if you enjoyed it be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.